GPS flight mode. For beginners, we suggest that they choose an open area without many obstacles, since the GPS signal will be stronger and they will be able to use the automatic hovering function and return to home function if they need to. Make sure that the remote control slide switches are in the right position. S1 should be at off, S2 should be at OK, S3 at stop, and S4 shifted upwards to AC. Now we can turn on the remote control and AP10. The tail light will light up. The aircraft will then go through an automatic self checkup and the tail light will start flashing. When the tail light displays a flash and light up pattern for periods of one second each, it means the self check was successfully completed and the GPS signal has been found. To start the motor, move the left and right joysticks downward toward the outer corner and hold them there for about 3 seconds. After the motor starts, the propeller will begin to spin at a low speed. Slowly increase the throttle by pushing the left joysticks upward to accelerate the speed of the motor. The aircraft will begin to take off and climb into the air. When you are satisfied with the height of the aircraft, you can release the throttle and the aircraft will automatically hover at that altitude. Use the right joystick to determine the direction of the AP-10. If you release the right joystick, the AP-10 will just hover in its current position. If the aircraft flies beyond your line of sight and you can no longer tell the head from the tail, simply turn off the remote control for the automatic return to home function to activate. The AP-10 will return and land back to its original starting point.